I hope you're ready. It's about to get really fun. Okay, we're gonna solve each of these for t. I want you to notice that they are all modified exponential. The purpose of these three problems is to create a understanding, create an understanding of the format of what's gonna happen throughout the rest of this worksheet, the rest of these notes. So um, we're gonna start by looking at these and saying, oh, you know what, that would be exponential if blah, blah, blah. So you know what, this would be exponential if we had divided by 100. So let's divide by 100. Let's not use a calculator yet. And that's going to give me, let's see, on this side, we're going to have 1.1041. All right, now I know I've said that I like three decimal places. Do not round anything until you get to the end on these. Trust me on this, because if you round too early when you're dealing with logarithms, you really lose a lot of accuracy. It's not worth it. Okay, so these 100s canceled, and let's just go for the, the obvious. 1 plus 0 0.02, we can go ahead and do that. That's 1.02, and we're going to raise it to the t power. Okay, at this point, we have something that is exponential. It has decimals in it. We're not used to seeing all that, but it does work. So rearrange it. You know how. Log base 1.02 of 1.1041, and that is equal to your exponent. Now we will figure out what that is. And we're probably going to get a pretty neat number. It doesn't always work out that way. That's not what I wanted. Log base 1.02 of 1.1041. And that gives me, let's round, we're done. So let's round. On these problems, you're going to have an obvious place to round. That won't always happen. But right now it's like 5.0008. Just call it 5. Just really call it 5. In this case, T is going to represent time, which probably represents years in most situations. So five, and I would love to put the units on it, but five what? I don't know. Put it way under here. I don't know why I put that big gap there. Maybe I was going to write a word, but I didn't. So it might be five years, might be five minutes, who knows what it'll be, but often T is going to represent time in these contexts. Okay, let's do the same thing on the next couple problems. It's going to take a little work to start off with. First of all, this 175 is just really bothering me. 175, and I will need a calculator for this because I'm going to divide 226.86 by 175. And I might get something crazy. And I don't need to round it off. Do not round it off. Now, if you write down... For example, 1.296, and you say, oh, that's it, I don't want to write anymore. That's fine, that's cool. But in the calculator or Desmos or whatever, you're gonna need that whole thing. You're gonna copy that whole thing and use it. Also, while we're at it, all the stuff in the parentheses here, it's ready to go. Like, you can go ahead and figure out what it is. You have 12t as your exponent. Don't panic, because there's a variable up there, a number with your exponent, the coefficient. It's okay. 1 plus 0 0.04 divided by 12 is going to give me, don't round it, 1.003 repeating. Now, I said don't round it, and I rounded it. But again, when I use this in my calculator, I'm not going to use 1.296. I'm going to use 1.296, 3, 4, da, 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 You know, I'm going to go through that whole spiel. We are now in exponential form. Turn it to a log. Log base 1.003 repeating of... 1.296, and there is more, equals, parentheses there, just because, uh, 12t. Okay, I want to type this in, so let's do that. If you're using Desmos, I recommend you copy and paste the old answers. 1.003, If you're using a calculator, I'm going to get to where I want it to go, and then go up and retrieve it. Just press enter on it. Boom, and it pastes it right there. And that's it. Now, I have 12t equals 77.9938355. Like, what in the world? Okay, you're going to have to divide by 12, and this one's going to be pretty logical as well. Six and a half. At this point, it's like really obvious. I don't know. You're like, oh, let's round to three decimal places. Trust me, six and a half. 6.5 what? I don't know. Probably represents time, years, months, days, seconds, nanoseconds. I don't know. Probably years, considering the structure of this formula and where this lesson is going to go well within the next couple lessons. All right, last one of this set before we really delve into some ridiculousness. There we go. 
and uh, let's see, 66037 divided by 617. And I got some craziness here. I'm not going to write the whole thing, 1.070, because I feel like it. And then 1 plus 0 0.004 divided by 2. 0 0.004 divided by 2 is 0 0.002. 1 plus 0 0.002 is 1.002. Raise it to the 2t. Okay, this is ready to go into logarithmic form. Log base. Now, this is a little backwards than what we're used to. But there's your base. And then there's the other one. It's equal to 2t. And so let's type it. Log base 1.002 of, okay, whole thing, boom, and I got 2t equals, okay, I'm going to round a little bit early on this one, and also don't round to the end, let's just be real honest with ourselves, that's 34, right, that's just going to round to 34, so when you divide by 2, it's 17, I mean, trust me, see, that's 17, it's practically 17, okay, we're going to put this in context, I wanted us to see the general structure of these, but you're going to see this in context in just a few minutes, in, uh, in all its beautiful glory.